What is up guys and welcome back to the channel. If you've not watched these videos before, my name is Ben Crandall. Um, I haven't posted for a while. It's kind of been a, uh, it's been a weird year really with all the COVID stuff, just not much really going on. We haven't really been going racing or anything. Um, I don't feel like I've done too much exciting stuff. So, uh, but I've been in the process of buying a house. So I close at the end of the month and I feel like I've got some uh, some video ideas and stuff going right now. So today, if you tag along with us, we're going to pick up something pretty exciting, um, or at least for me, um, I'm headed to Indianapolis to buy a new utility trailer. So I'm going to uh, Big Tech's uh, World or Big Tech's Trailer World of Indianapolis to pick up a uh, 35 SA 12 foot utility trailer. So took off work a little early today and um, I'm headed north. So I'll let you guys kind of tag along on my uh, my uh, trip an hour north to pick up this trailer and um, kind of give you a little overview at the end of the video. So um, with, with me closing on the house, this thing's gonna help me move. Um, so in the fall, Last summer and fall, I went and bought about five four-wheelers and um, ATVs and sold them and kind of just did a flip deal. I'd buy them, kind of fix them up, clean them up, and sell them. So I was using an old trailer of my parents, so this is going to be one of my own, finally. And um, so kind of bought, bought a nice one, uh, spent a little more money and uh, splurged on the big tech, so really excited about that. And, uh, but yeah, so hopefully got some cool more content coming at you guys and um, tag along and hopefully you guys make it to the end and uh, get some use or at least some entertainment out of this video. We are finally pulling up after setting in traffic forever. I don't know if it was just normal traffic or there was a wreck or what, but we are finally off the interstate and have arrived at the Big Tech's dealership here. Guys, we are all finished up with the paperwork and we have got this thing hooked up and let me tell you guys, this thing is pretty freaking sweet. I am super excited about this one. I won't keep you waiting. I'll go ahead and show you what we're working with. Again guys, this is a Big Tex, it is a 35 SA. This is a 12 foot single axle trailer. I did get a spare with it. The thing is super, super durable. It's a two inch ball. It's got a spring assisted lift gate here with some pretty hefty crossbars in it on the gate. So no worrying about bowing that gate. Um, it's got all recess lights in this little bar down here, so there's no wires dangling or anything like that. This thing, I could not be any happier with how this trailer looks, and I'll drag it down the road a little bit and jump in a little in more depth on this video here. All right, guys, we have made our first stop since I am an Indian, don't really make it up this way much. Right across the street from my Big Tech, you can't see the Big Tech sign from here, but we are right across the street from a Northern Tool. So we really don't have one of these at home. We've got, you know, our typical Lowe's Menards and uh, we just got a Harbor Freight in Bloomington, but no Northern Tool. So since I'm up here, I drug this thing across the street and I'm uh, gonna run in here real quick and uh, see what we can find. There you have that guys. I just got home back to my parents house to where I can keep this trailer before I move into my new house at the end of the month. So I left work at 2.15 
it is uh, 640 so a little bit of traffic on the way there but this thing it pulled amazing on the way home even empty um, the trailer I was using before sitting right over here and it's an old uh, like a flip trailer deal and uh, it was just a 5x8 so it was kind of hard to back it was a tilt trailer so the axles right in the middle so it was really hard to back and it was kind of like like to bounce going down the road and those kind of things but this one the axles kind of it's a little more to the rear than it is in the center so it's like pulled well going home it's got the big gate on the back it's got the nice tie downs here so on that other one I'd put some in the floor this has got these nice side marker lights I'll open the door on the truck So it's got these little marker lights that go here. One on the side. And then you got your brake lights, license plate lights, everything's all LED. And like I said before in a video, this is like a solid tube. So all the lights for the LEDs are ran through here and then ran down the side of the trailer so there's no wires to get caught underneath. Came with a nice spare and a spare mount. I actually had to buy the spare extra but um so it is starting to get dark on me but i'll make this kind of quick before i run out of daylight but um another thing this trailer has that's pretty cool is it's got these tubular top rails instead of the angle iron like a lot of trailers and in theory this tube is not supposed to bend and flex and bow is easy so it makes the trailer a whole lot more stable um, along with the trailer when i bought this i bought it brand new from big Tex, and it comes with a three-year warranty on the frame I believe and I think they said a five-year warranty on the axles so it's kind of a good peace of mind there and I had them put a spare on it so everything about this thing I really really like um, it comes with the four-way plug because it doesn't have trailer brakes on it so it just has the four-way but it's got the nice uh, jack here which I'll have to Find a, one day I may end up putting like a wheel on it because my new driveway is blacktop so maybe might make it a little easier to roll around but all in all I think this is a super super nice trailer um, very nice purchase um, this weekend my plan tonight is to get the hose out and scrub this floor down just a little bit and knock all the loose dirt off of it because it's setting a lot for a month it looked like and we just got out of a nasty snowstorm so I'm sure there's salt and sand on it from where they've transported it but i'll go ahead and wash it tonight that way when i come out here on the weekend it will be good and dry and i can put a coat of uh waterproofing you know kind of like a stain on here to try to keep these boards from rotting and keep them looking nice for as long as we can so guys it has ended up kind of gotten dark on me so i'm in here in the garage to kind of film the exit of this video but uh all this stuff is going to come with me and the move to my new garage which needs built out kind of like this one it's bare set on the wall where i'm moving to so uh here in a couple months um within the month we should have some pretty cool videos coming um i'll need to buy a lawnmower for this new house so i may walk you guys through that a little bit on something exciting for me and just kind of tag you guys along and if you like what you're seeing give the video a thumbs up give us a subscribe um, this weekend i should be doing something with uh staining the deck on the trailer and i'll show you guys what i'm using and how i'm going to do that so uh thank you guys for watching if you made it along this far i appreciate you um like subscribe and uh, leave us a comment tell us what you think and we will catch you on the next one